Isolated syndesmosis injuries can be treated with a minimally invasive technique by using two syndesmosis tightropes and a buttress plate. The syndesmosis tightrope XP implant system features a unique delivery mechanism that allows the user to insert a syndesmosis tightrope implant without pulling a needle through the medial skin. The XP gives the user control to flip the medial oblong button below the skin for less soft tissue interposition. A small incision is made along the lateral fibula. A syndesmosis clamp can be used for reduction. A low-profile two-hole syndesmosis plate is inserted along the lateral fibula. BB tacks can be inserted to hold plate on bone. Insert the K-wire through the distal hole aiming 30 degrees anterior on the medial tibia. A second K-wire is inserted in a diverging fashion. A 3.7 mm cannulated drill is used. The inferior K-wire is removed. Insert the tightrope XP through the fibula and tibial bone tunnel. Check under fluoroscopy to ensure the medial button exits the tibial cortex. Position the blue driver in the coronal plate or inferior superior direction. Remove the red safety tab. Deploy the black button on the syndesmosis tightrope XP handle. Pull back on the syndesmosis tightrope XP handle to confirm on fluoroscopy the oblong button is flipped and seated flush against the medial cortex of the tibia. Unwrap the trailing sutures from the tightrope XP driver to release the round button. Remove the tightrope XP inserter from the bone tunnel. Grasp the center sutures of the round button before tensioning. Slide the round button down to the plate. Wrap each suture tail two to three times around the XP tensioning handles. Pull the sutures straight back one at a time. The lateral button will sit flush. A second syndesmosis tightrope is inserted in the same fashion. The suture tails are cut flush. Fixation is complete.